the You're saying Socrates Christ. is a real person. I'm saying Jesus Christ is a real person. Yeah. Criteria by criteria, what is your criteria to say that Socrates is alive? Um, there is a lot more evidence for Jesus if you just move no, things Jesus, forward. No, Jesus, 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 Jesus got Ben Gamala. You said that yeah. he's the one talked about here. Show me. If Jesus was a real person, then your whole view of history is wrong. Agreed? Um, if Jesus is a real person, is your view of history wrong? So, so Christian's logic is this. To see the truth behind the evidence, we have to think in a more spiritual, archetypal way. You know what I heard was subjective belief, subjective belief, subjective belief. So the attestation of the scholars. Right. Dr. Bart Ehrman is not a Christian. Uh, no, he Bob says Ehrman's Dr. Bart Ehrman is not a Christian. Hey, Captain. So he's got up, nothing to gain out of this. Yeah. And he says, he says, he says, he says that the one second, one second, let me finish. Dr. Bart Ehrman states that the crucifixion is one of the most certain facts in history. Mm -hmm. His opinion is also the mainstream opinion of all scholarship about the sure. crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Dr. Bruce Metzger, who was the tutor to Dr. Bart Ehrman, mm -hmm. says the same. So does many other, um, many other like historians Bart, um, and scholars. Doesn't uh, matter. One second. Interest in, my in, point in to you: to you haven't Jesus heard my point. You haven't heard my point. You haven't heard my point. I just don't. Want you to haven't heard my point. You haven't heard my point. You haven't heard my point. The point that I'm making to you is that scholarship, the mainstream of scholarship, is certain that Jesus was a real person. So for you to say, in your humble opinion, that all of these scholars are wrong and that you're right, you've got to have something really strong to do that. Now I'm open to hearing that, so what is the strong argument to, to say all of these scholars are wrong and you're correct? Okay. And I, what I want to say is that when you, when you consider the first century AD, what you're looking at is 100 years where no one was really sure where the, the zero was. If you take into account that no one at the time really understood who Jesus Christ was. Because he's uh, this, this fellow, as far as I'm concerned, you're looking at a mythological uh, uh, um, kind of creature of, from all around the world who had, who is, a, you know, the hero. It's the hero story. It's the... Um, it's the, the saviour God, the, the resurrected you know, sun king. There's so much solar iconography around the Christian religion, it's really hard to, to not acknowledge it. There are even first century zodiacs with, with Christ in the middle, and you can find them across, um, across the Levant. You know, they're, and they're there in, in Persia as well. There's the same, that this interest here in, in seeing Christ as I do, as a parable, as a set of stories that have, that have been told many, many times across the world. And that this saviour, deity, and all of the miracles attributed to Jesus Christ, that they didn't happen, I think is a fair thing to say. Wait, one and, second, and, well, so hold on. Uh, let me, let me, let me you Remember, the, the question now, that I'm asking as, you is as, about yeah, yeah, you're going to overturn universal scholarship. <clears throat> and I want to hear your few, reason for... Only a few of those, um, what am I calling them? These attestations that Jesus, Jesus existed, only a few of them are actually, you're able to look at them and say, yes, what is this about? This, there clearly seems to be a, a Jesus, or a Christus, or a Christos, but who is he? And is he the, the character that the Bible pur purports that he is? Now, as I said, that, that there's a huge difficulty because you have many, you have 50 or 60 years sometimes before the first the possible first gospel actually comes along and even then it's not in the form you see it today no, no, I'm, saying, I'm sorry, but um, wait, wait a second. We've, we've, but, so, uh, we've already addressed this point, which you didn't reply to, mm -hmm. which is if you're going to make the argument we should, we that Christ should, is want, not a real should, um, person yeah. because the Gospels came late, then we cannot know about Socrates, we can't know about Plato, you're, we can't making, know about you're, Aristotle, you're, you're we can't know about Cleopatra, we can't know about Julius Caesar, we can't know about Julius Africanus, we can't know about we can't know about there anyone are from of history. That we, can, we can much, much more reliable. Based on, okay, do it. Use pro Socrates. Is your them, example. Will be, um, what's your example? What's your example that Socrates lived? From the time, there will be people that talked 
about um, people that talked about him, like Matthew Motluck and John, no, right, and right. Paul. People who well, this is the thing. I don't think there's anything really talking about. Who is Mark? Who is Matthew? Archaeology. You mean things like the fact that we, we see the tombs that, or books like Matthew Motluck and Paul, can, Matthew Motluck and John. The tombs of Matthew Mark. No, my, my, my point is, you said archaeology. What is your evidence that Socrates lived? Um, Socrates lived. Well, a lot of people talk about him. A lot of people and talk about Jesus. Yeah. That's right. What I mean, is your evidence that Socrates still, I, lived? I, I believe Socrates lived because you have a number of different ways to look back into Greek Great. society. Great. Let's and, convince and me Socrates can, lived. You can, you can be sure that, say, Miletus existed. You you convince me sure that Socrates that lived. Other people were talking about can Socrates. Can you convince me? So other people were talking <laughs> yeah, about Jesus. Your criteria has been met. Jesus right. is a real person. I do. I do. Um, I, again, I, I don't... I don't. You, you, so people have taken um, what, which is what is your criteria the great, as the criteria? What is and your they criteria? Don't that there's what a is lot your more criteria evidence. that Socrates lived? People talk, so far. You've given me one. Um, other people talked about him. Well, other people there, there talked are, about you Jesus. Say, so your criteria is met. Jesus have, was a real sorry, person um, in contemporary history. Contemporary evidence. Contemporary. Have, what, sorry. What is the contemporary evidence about we Socrates? We have archaeological evidence. Oh, what, what's the archaeological hmm. evidence? Of, for, for what? For I, we, we'd have to go back. In, I'm not a, an historian. Shall I tell you? Shall I tell you what? Shall, shall I tell you what? Actually, we, we have. We can have. We have. We have. We can. We have nothing. Mainstream history. No, bro. We can establish whether or not someone was likely. What you're doing is you are making things up. Literally, you are making things up but can you see that some of the miracles you're, you're, Jesus you're making might have you're making might things not. up you're making things up right now to sustain a worldview that is collapsing you're, you're, in the face you're of the from a point one second using a logical fallacy the saying, reason no, the reason this must have been the case over here bro, and then it, it can't you're, be the I case over you, here as well I, I'm going to ask you again because mm -hmm. you, you, you're not registering it right. so let's do it again Okay. What is the criteria, one by one, we'll go through them one by one. What is your criteria that Socrates lived? Okay, Socrates, as I say, I'm First not, criteria. I'm, uh, a lot of people, and certainly people like Plato's, um, his work survived, and he records uh, an event, oh, a, very about specific, to be stopped. a very specific let's, let's, event. Let's walk to um, that. Let's, 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 walk, let's, walk, let's walk to... Uh... I was just having a one-to-one -one conversation with yeah, this guy. Just, I don't know who these people are. I don't know who are, these yeah. people are. <laughs> 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 well? I'm well. How are you? Yeah. How's your leg? Thanks, thanks. You want us to One meter away. No, one, no, one, no, one just one stand apart. Just, okay, just keep good distancing. Yeah. Just be mindful what the government is instructions are about social distancing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The only the caveat is because we're being monitored heavily about the amount of people coming into the parks, ignoring these instructions, especially more like Kensington Gardens. Yeah. It's a real health problem. It's highly likely you may see in the very near future the parks will be closed. Fair enough. So yeah. again, I don't want to say don't do this, but it doesn't help by keeping the parks open for everybody else who are keeping them. Yeah. I mean, if you want, we can go on to the grass if that helps. Yeah, will that help? Right, let's right. go on to Is the grass. Good. Most important thing, stay safe and uh, I just thank yeah. you. Thank you <laughs> I'm gonna finish this up. And then I'll yeah, yeah, look, look, yeah, look. Yeah. So, so, so. Can I, 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 one second. We said Socrates. We're gonna, we're gonna show you exactly. Bro, bro, the, bro. The, like, you're not gonna get away from a point just by talking over it. One point at a time. So here's my point. You said Jesus Christ wasn't a real person. Right. I'm saying Socrates wasn't a real person. The, the you're saying Socrates Christ. is a real person. I'm saying Jesus Christ is a real person. Criteria by criteria, what is your criteria to say that Socrates is alive? By the way, I do believe in Socrates. Um, yeah, sure, sure. Um, I think that Shall it's just sit? not enough. Yeah, sure. I just don't think there's very much evidence for Jesus. No, you've not answered my question, bro. Come, Come on. Right? And I, what and is your criteria that Socrates is, lived? As you would probably agree, is a more important person to a lot of people. What is your Socrates evidence is just a that Socrates yes. lived? No, don't make me happy. Um, <laughs> what's your Socrates criteria did. that Socrates lived? Show, yeah, yeah. Show, I, 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 what I know is that Plato wrote a lot about him. Right, stop. Hold on. One second, bro. Hold on Plato one second. No, You've just given a criteria. The criteria yep. is 
that Plato wrote about Socrates, so we know that Socrates lived. Yeah. Right. right. Well, I Paul hear. wrote about Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Mark wrote about Jesus. Yeah. John but wrote Paul about Jesus. One really second. Wait, wait, wait. Luke Jesus wrote about God. Jesus. One second. One second. One second. Luke wrote about Jesus. Yeah. John wrote about Jesus. So I have five authors that wrote that Jesus lived. You have right. one author that wrote that Socrates lived. Now I accept your and criteria. Socrates one second. Can you just? Can you? Can you can wait, you wait, just, wait. Can you just be patient, handle be the point that's being presented to you? Sure. You have just said that the criteria is that someone else wrote about them. Yeah, you I that. have got five authors that write about Jesus. You have one that writes about Socrates. I so I have more okay. evidence that Jesus lived using your criteria mm -hmm. than you do that Socrates lived using your criteria. Right. There are, as far as I'm aware, and I will grant you that for the, the sake of this argument, you might be right. And, and you can extend this this logic out and say, yeah, maybe Christian is wrong, but I don't think it's really fair to equate these two things and say that they're absolutely the same. Because Socrates, there's a lot of people and a lot of references to Socrates from other authors and so on. Name there's even a massive court case where Socrates is, but it's a beautiful case, right? And Plato, Plato, Plato says specifically this stuff happened. Of course, then Socrates has, has that little, uh, Hemlock cocktail at the end of that ordeal. Can, can I? And, it, and it's. Can I address your point? Yeah, you're talking about a, you're talking about a court case. There's a court yeah. case registered in the Gospels, Here's the trial the of it's Jesus Christ. Records. Right, but, but, but neither is the Roman neither is the neither is the There's trial of Socrates. <laughs> neither is the trial of Socrates. So your criteria, your criteria, you fail again. Your criteria is, now, now you've said that the criteria is, well, it's not written in Roman records. Well, I'm sorry, but neither is the trial of Socrates written right. in, in Roman records. It isn't the, the fact that Roman records um, decide what, what, who lives and who didn't live in history. Do, do you think what, I think what's more, what, what I would suggest to you is that if, if a real person inspires a community, yeah, mm -hmm. right? Then, then people are more likely to write about him. Would you agree? People didn't know anything about Jesus at the time. But this, this is the problem. We have no contemporary evidence, no archaeological evidence for a Jesus in the time. At Sorry, the time. where is your contemporary evidence that Socrates lived? I, I get what you're saying. I, I understand. So you're saying is my my So you're saying that my principle applies. My my principle my principle applies when I want to apply it, but it doesn't apply when I want to apply it. That's an inconsistent principle. It, it is an, an acknowledgement here that I think, and it's true, absolutely. If you're going to use your logic. I'm using it's, your it's logic. True. This is no, your that's criteria. Your logic. Yeah. I haven't laid my true. criteria it's, it's down. Okay I did it before the camera yeah. arrived, but what you we, ignored what, it. What we're talking about here <clears throat> in, in Jesus' life is as someone who was, who was really moving mountains, who did a, a hell of a lot of stuff in a pretty short space of time, who, who, who gathered, you know, who had hundreds of, sorry, thousands of people around him. And they were so is he a real him. person? He was curing the blind. Was he a real person? He was turning was it, two fishes and five loaves into enough to feed a thousand, two thousand people. Something like that. And you don't have any references to his life. But you do. I gave them to you. I gave them to you. No, hold on one second. You've just made a statement that of, is a lie. Uh, of, um, you've just real. lied, bro. Which one? Which? You, your lie is this. Your lie is this. We have no one writing about the life of Jesus. Uh -huh. Paul wrote about the life of Jesus. After he, John after he wrote about the life of Jesus. Again, your principle, you take it and you leave it as you want to because we've just seen that by your logic you can't prove Socrates lived. One second, one second, you, you, one bro, bro, one second. Listen, 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 bro. Right? I mean, I'm really enjoying this. And I, dude, yeah, but, but bro, you know what, you know what really pains me? You know what really pains me? to engage. Is when I, I see a man who has who has constructed a worldview on straw, right. and when when that worldview is challenged, and he, okay. he, even the inconsistencies of his own criteria are being laid out in front of him, his pride is such that he would rather hold on to his myths mm -hmm. than simply accept no, I, that his logic is flawed. I, I you have said that we know that Socrates lived because other people wrote about him, and you mentioned Plato. 
then I mentioned not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, but seven different people that wrote about Jesus Christ. I referenced Josephus, I referenced Tacitus, I referenced Paul, I referenced John, I referenced Luke, I referenced Matthew, I referenced Mark. Okay. All of these authors you, you can speak about Jesus, yeah, and, and the, point, the point that I'm making uh, is, yeah. you're saying that if someone else wrote about Socrates, mm -hmm. Plato, that therefore Socrates lived. Mm. I'm saying that seven people wrote about Jesus, so therefore, by your criteria, mm -hmm. Jesus lived. Now show me how I am being unfair. You were, you were making an assumption. About Socrates. That five or six people speaking decades after Jesus Christ. How long did Plato live after Socrates? Jesus or Joshua. Yeah, yeah, deal with that. Deal with that. Yeah. A very, quite a common name in in the ADs, right? Joshua was, a, I think, at once one in every twenty-one people were called Joshua back in the ADs. It's quite a, a common name, and Crestus is a title. It's not. Jesus Christ is a title. Christ is a title. Christ. This, the, the Gnostics have this notion that Christ is in us, and, and this is where I mean, we listen to Jesus, the, the figure, whatever he is in the Bible, and we listen when he says Christ is within you, because that is the Gnostic interpretation. Bro, you're just of, you're of just scripture. trying to push your so, theology. You're not actually dealing with the no, no, argument. What, what I want to what I want to say is, I, th there were there were about five, maybe seven people who were talking in the, the second century about Jesus Christ, but they are very fleeting mentions. Um, at least two of them are very likely to be completely false. Like Josephus, the, the uh, Testimonium Flavianum, Flavianum there, is, is probably a fake. It's, it's quite, I, I'm fairly confident, it is a fake. Right, so and, one and, second, and, one and second. So Socrates' Socrates dates, dates, Socrates' okay. dates, because you're just, you're, just, you're, just, you're just ignoning the point that I've made. Mm -hmm. You, I'm, you've I'm literally you think sat there and ignored it. You no, you, yeah, but and then you totally, but everything you've said, just ignored it, the point. <laughs> Bro, it's no, frustrating. I'll say it again. I'll say it again, right? So these are the dates, these are the dates of Socrates. These okay. little tiny snippets. Oh, it's just, about it's just off a, on a screen. I saw the dates for Socrates, So, so the, the dates for Socrates are 470 to 399. Plato's dates are 428 to 348. Right. So Plato is considered a student of Socrates. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So he was now the there, thing is the only the only way that I'm talking to the camera now because you, you're, just, you're just not listening. Mm. The only the only the only way that we know that 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 Socrates lived is because Plato wrote about him. That's the criteria that this Gnostic brother has set up. Someone wrote about him. His students wrote about him. Okay. But but one second one second. But, but the apostles are the students of their rabbi Jesus and they wrote about Jesus, mm. they spoke about Jesus. Their community was founded because of Jesus. I want to ask this Gnostic, who's not a Christian, though he's going by the name of Christian. Um, so I, I want, I want, there's no such thing as a Gnostic Christian. So there's, 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 no way. so I want to ask you, I want to ask you. Ask him again, Bob. I'm going to try and change the question because Alex. you're not you you've not engaging. dealt with the you're, 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 well, no, but, but the point is that the fundamental argument is about whether He's Jesus is real the, the fundamental question is whether Jesus was a real person ah, okay if Jesus was a real person then your whole view of history is wrong agreed um, if Jesus is a real person is your view of history wrong can I just I want to qualify this quickly but by, by saying, look, there, there were quite a few Jesuses in the in the first century. I'm talking about and, the Jesus of Nazareth, the Jesus, the Jesus of Christianity, that yes, Jesus. That Jesus. The, the one that was crucified and rose again on the third day, that Jesus. Yes. That's the Jesus I'm talking I, about. I believe so I want to ask you, yes. if that Jesus, Jesus, if that Jesus, yeah. if that Jesus, if that Jesus lived, yeah, yeah. if that Jesus lived, yeah. is your view of history wrong? Yes or no? Um, no, because I believe that there was a, a Jesus that, that existed and lived. Uh, he, he came to the, the, the history of that guy came to a crescendo in, in the 68 to 70 AD with the destruction of the Second Temple. His name was Is Isis Baisa. His name was also Manu. 
um, of, of uh, his name was Manuel, Emmanuel, right? Um, ah. And he was a, a very important historical figure as well. Right, so he what you're saying is, so, so, so let's, yeah. let's just deal with what you've said. What you've said was, one second. No, what, 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 no, I want to, I want to deal, so I deal with, I deal with, I, I, I want to deal with what um, you're saying. You're, that, you're saying that, that there was a real. If I could just say there, my piece yeah, go on, finish your point, and then I'll reply. Yeah. So I, th this figure was absolutely within the existing the historical record. There's a, a, a few mentions of him in uh, the Antiquities of the Jews from Flavius. Um, there's also mention of him in the Talmud. Uh, he goes by a few different names, but his, one of his names is Issus ben Gamala, and he was also called Manu. They, they had personal names, there were also king's names. Right, bro, 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 <laughs> what is the point you're making? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Point Run it up, run it up. He said this was a sentence, was not a Jesus paragraph. Yeah. That, and that some of the, some of the um, uh, books in the Bible actually reference this Christ. Okay, okay? So, so what but, is the point that you're making, but, bro? Because I'm trying you, to say what that is this guy was the, the head of um, the, the leader of the Jewish rebellion under under uh, Titus at the time. Right. Very interesting history. So, so right. So you're saying that he was a rebel leading yeah. the Jewish and, rebellion, the revolt the, of 70 AD. Is that right. what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. Right. Stop. Right. right one okay. second. Okay. One second. You, you made so point. you've made your point. Now I'm going to talk to the camera because I know that there isn't any point talking to you. You'll just talk over me if I do. So, so the point that the brother is making is that the, 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 the real Jesus of history, the real Jesus of history, was the one that led the Jewish revolt that happened in 70 AD. Now the obvious question is, how does he know that? What are his sources? Where, what's, what method of historical inquiry has he used to get that? And now when we try to explore this, which I would like to pin him down on, what is his criteria of understanding history, what you're going to see is the inconsistencies of his logic. Because he will establish a criteria, which I will then use to prove my Jesus is the real Jesus. Yeah. But then he will dismiss his own criteria ah. when it works against him. <laughs> so my question to you now, 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 What's the question, Bob? my question to you now is what historical evidence and what criteria are you using mm. to say that you, this Jesus from 70 AD is the one who, who led the Jewish revolt? What, what's firstly, let's just split that question into two. Yeah, yeah. Firstly, your evidences, your sources, yes. and then secondly, your uh, way of uh, uh, scrutinizing those sources. So what, firstly, are your sources that talk about Jesus yeah. uh, leading the Jewish revolt, the Jesus of the Gospels leading the well, Jewish I think revolt? They're, they're actually in the Bible itself. If you look at the Bible, you, you'll see uh, references to this Christ, and they're quite categorically quite clear. So to be what clear, your evidence is the Bible. The Bible. Yeah, the he, said, he said that. He said that because, because there are certainly stories within the Bible that correlate very nicely to this history. And there's mm. the, the three day, the, the crucifixion uh, as well, actually. And, and you can look at, I just want to say, so the uh, antiquities of the Jews and the history, the Jewish history. Wait, he mentioned another source. He mentioned yeah, another source. The, the antiquities of, of the, Jews the Jews by Josephus. Josephus. Right, so we've got okay. the Bible, Bible and the antiquities yeah. of the Jews. Yes, yes. right. The Talmud. Yep. Um, we got the Talmud. Ah, yeah. Talmud, the Bible, we and have, those sources. Yeah. Uh, people like Moses of Karim. Uh, so <laughs> Moses of Karim, so. The, the Gospels, the, ta the, the Antiquities of Josephus, the Talmud, and, and this one, what was the last one? one. Uh, sorry, the Moses uh, something. Moses of Karim. Moses of yeah. So wait, one, one okay, second. So, right. now, well, I, I just want to, I just want to, I just, can, you've can named I, your I sources. Just, sure, can, I, can I just add, yep. there's a lot of archaeological evidence as well for okay. this Jesus, so, in the form of coins, in the form of statues, in the form of his household yep. being fantastic, brilliant. In, so, in a, so, yes, so, um, so, yeah, cool. the, the, there's archaeological evidence mm. in the form of coins and the form of statues. That's now, I, I just want to, I just want to point out something that this this brother does know, but this is what I said. His 
now he's mentioned his evidences, you're going to see how he will pick and choose. Because Josephus, okay. in Antiquities, Book 18, Chapter 3, Part 3, okay. and in Book 20, Chapter 9, Part 1, this is Josephus, okay. in the Jewish Antiquities, ah, right. he mentioned it as a source, yeah. states this about Jesus Christ. What does he say, Bob? That he was a miracle worker, okay. that he was a teacher, that he, was, <laughs> he had Jewish and Gentile followers, that he was called Christ, ah, right. that he was crucified ah, right. under Pontius Pilate, Pilate. Okay. And that one of his leading followers, yeah. the leading Jew, stoned James okay. and accused him of being a breaker of, of the law. Now watch as he just chucks Josephus under the bus. Ah, okay. Josephus <laughs> said that Christ was crucified. No yeah. problem. I like Josephus as an historian. But I like, I've read many passages but. of Johesus, <laughs> Josephus. But, but. but. there you go. I think that it's very possible that, that ah, okay. some of that testimony was the testimony of Flaviarum, I think it's, it's called. It's a very important testimony from Josephus. It's not contemporary with Jesus Christ, um, right. but it lists, it names perfectly what anyone would want to know about Jesus Christ in a, in a, a fairly small passage. Here's the clincher. It's probably a fake. It's probably not true. But you and just it, quoted it as evidence. If, yeah, yeah. If, no, no, no. I, I, I you said it was a source of I evidence. Quote Josephus as evidence. Because yeah. you can do that with Josephus. A lot of his history is a bang on the money. Right? What, 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 what is the evidence of? The Jesus you believe in? <coughs> the Jesus you believe in? <coughs> it's not coronavirus. Hey, some water there next to you, bro. I've got back up. It's all right. It's all right. No, I have, I have yeah, some no, water there. Hey, have some water. Some water. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah, 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 sure. So, <coughs> I, and, you know, people can do their own research on this, but that, that, that testimony is probably not, not fair. And it, it's first time it's used it. So it's uh, evidence until it contradicts you, is what you're saying. <laughs> no, 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 I'm saying it's evidence, it's, but it's not evidence if it contradicts your words. Ah, it's unlikely that Josephus would use the terminology Christ because he was a Jew. He, was a Jewish he said guy. that Christ was crucified. Was Christ crucified? I believe, can I say, the Isis Bengobala, he was crucified. Was he crucified he under Pontius the, Pilate? He was one of the, uh, not under Pontius Pilate, ah, not under So Josephus was wrong. wrong. <laughs> uh, in, in this, if as I'm saying, I don't fully believe that testimony is true. So my point um, is that as we've, as I said he would, <laughs> as, exactly as I said he would, he mentioned his evidences and then throws them away when it doesn't, when it contradicts his worldview. Now you mentioned, you mentioned, you mentioned, you mentioned, you mentioned, you mentioned the Bible. Yeah, he mentioned the Bible. You mentioned the Bible. By the way, the, the, the what I'm using is a redacted conclusion. All right. From Josephus, so I'm using what's considered to be a redacted version based upon your argument about it being um, um, edited by Not later it. later writers. So the Gospel of Mark, which is our earliest gospel, now bearing in mind that his own criteria was that it has to be written by someone within their own lifetime, but yet when it came to Socrates, he took that principle away. Okay. Yeah, because Socrates, no one wrote about Socrates in Socrates' lifetime. No one. Incidentally, no one wrote about Plato in Plato's lifetime. Just, just say it. Just say it. So, by his logic, he can't substantiate Socrates or Plato, except that he said when someone writes about them, that makes them a real person in history. Even though I have seven people, I have seven people that all write about Jesus, but still he's not a real person in history. He was alive, Now, Not at the time, and he was the gospel of one second. people and curing them of blindness. One second, brother. You know, he was changing many more lives. Brother, brother, the the. And we don't you, have in, that in the Gospel of Mark, in the Gospel of Mark, it says this. Then they brought him to the place of Golgotha, which is translated place of the skull. They tried to give him wine mixed with myrrh, but he did not take it. And they crucified him. So the Gospel of Mark is saying that Jesus was crucified. Was there a real person called Jesus crucified that Mark is speaking this, of? This, this is Ben Gamala was crucified and it was as a result of the... Obviously, the Jews failing to to oust Rome. 
can you say, can you show me in this here's my bible can yeah. you show me in my bible which you said was evidence oh yeah can you identify certain, no, no, jesus certain, of gamala passages mm -hmm. are definitely evidence of some really ah, profound so cool stuff. no bro bro That's why i like reading it, you know, the bible you this, know this this my, my, I, you you have a world view that when tested collapses <laughs> which i think is the reason why you don't hear my questions right so here's my question Lisa, okay? Lisa. You're saying that the real Jesus of history was the Jesus of the Jewish revolt in 70 AD, correct? Yeah, right. yeah I think that's the gospel a, a of, a The Gospel Jesus. of Mark was written in 40 AD before the rebellion. It wasn't written, can you identify, it wasn't, one second. It wasn't written, can, All right, we'll come back to that. But can you, uh, can you show to me, can you, that's your, that's your belief. Can you show to me that the Jesus that you're talking about is referenced in the Gospel of Mark? There you go. Yeah, show us. Show me I where... I don't know what I'm, I'm looking ask. for. What I'm trying to tell you, what I'm trying to say is... No, my it, question, I'll be clear about my question because you have a tendency to waffle off the point. <laughs> the question I'm asking you is you're saying, you said that the Bible is evidence. Yeah. You said that the real Jesus is Jesus Gamala, I think you said. Jesus Gamala, right? yeah. Ben Gamala. Ben so Gamala. identify to me in the New Testament Jesus Ben Gamala. Yes. Show there me. Are, the there are aspects, so, and I can definitely go home. We can do this again, and I can bring <laughs> some some real research. So there are some verses you can pick and I choose. I come okay. expecting to, to do this uh, today, but I'm, my my point here is. Um, there is a lot more evidence for Jesus if you just move no, things Jesus, forward. No, Jesus, 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 got Ben Gamala. You said that yeah. he's the one talked about here. Show me. And yes, Manu. yes, show me. You said that, yes. Show me. So I shall ask. The name Manu. No, show me. It references. No, no, no. Show me, that, show me that name in. Show me that name. You can't find it unless you stop read. Stop dancing. Ah, oh, there you go. Did okay. you hear that? Oh. And that's the problem with the Gnostics. What did he say? Sorry, he said, he said, right? He said, you can't find it unless you read between the text. In other words, the words that are there, the words that are there, are not really the words that are there. <laughs> It's the words between the lines ah, between the line. that are the words that you have to believe in. In other words, the words that I put in to it. That's the whole problem with Gnosticism, wow. is that it literally just invents whatever it wants no, 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 no. and then forces it into the text. Wow. Show me, show me, show me, show me Jesus Ben Gamala in that text. Yeah, show us. Or just say you can't. Yeah. But you have names for that. Can you do it? You haven't got the Ben Gamala because what this book is. Is a Are you saying you can't? Parable. Are you ah, saying that you can't? Ah, so you can't find it. Are you saying that you can't? Are you saying that you can't? Ah, so you can't. You can't find it. Are you saying you can't? You, you can find ah, you can aspects. Find it. Can I, aspects. So this is important. Okay. okay. This is true. Uh, I'll have it back. We can find aspects of this guy, Jesus Christ. We, we can find his what his real name was. <laughs> in the historical record, but you have to change the dates a bit. And this is not. This is real scholarship these days. People are saying that the Romans had much more of a. Uh, this is not real scholarship. Uh, Bart Ehrman disagrees with this. Uh, uh, Dr. Bruce Metzger Bart disagrees Ehrman's with not, this. Uh, Dr. Daniel you, you Wallace disagrees with this. Like Dr. Doctor, um, who's that historian? Like Dr. Mike Lacona disagrees with this. Dr. Uh, N. T. Wright disagrees with this. There are. He's claimed that this is real scholarship is a complete rhetorical device. Every real scholar on this topic will say that this man, no offense Christian, is speaking nonsense. <laughs> and that the real Jesus was crucified in history. He was a rabbi who believed himself to be the Messiah, who went around thinking that he was Messiah, and his followers believed that he had risen from the dead. Yeah. Okay, get the chat. But you just said, but you just said that the real words of the Bible are not the ones we need to follow, it's the words between the words. Ah, between the lines. That's what you said. <laughs> but you've got no claim to history now. What Jesus himself says to the disciples, why, and one of the, I think Mark might ask, one of them asks, why doth thou speak in parables? And Jesus says, well, yes, I, I will speak in parables. Did you, but Jesus this say those for, words? This is did for, Jesus say those words? He says it much better than I did. did yeah. Jesus, so yes, he, he did does. say words, yes. and they so are recorded sure. in the Gospel. When I speak of Jesus Christ, I'm speaking of a... a but but, but as listen, as I can Christian, see, a mythological Christian, figure, listen to what you've just done. Christian, listen to what just you've just done. 
Christian, listen to what you've done. You've just said that Jesus <coughs> did say words. Yeah, in the Bible. And that they are recorded in the gospel. Yeah, he but said then that. when the gospel then when the gospel contradicts your worldview, then you're saying, well, we don't believe what the gospel say. Christian, you you have <laughs> when you have no cons behind. Yeah. By what criteria can we look behind the evidence? Well, you you've got to think uh, more. You've got to think. You've got to think in a more spiritual way. You've got to think in a more. Arch so so he's so so Christian's logic is this: okay. that to see behind to see the truth behind the evidence, okay. we have to think. We have to think in a more spiritual, archetypal way. You know what I heard was? You know what I heard? I heard subjective belief, subjective belief, subjective belief. That's what I heard. In other words, what I heard was, if I like the evidence, it's true. If I don't like the evidence, it's false. And we've got to think in a spiritual, archetypal way. So when Jesus taught in parables, according to the gospel, he believes it. Okay. But when those same gospels say that Jesus was crucified, he doesn't believe it and says we have to think in a more spiritual, more <laughs> archetypal, more, more, more archetypal okay. way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and, okay. And then can you not see why? Inconsistent. Can you can you not can you not see why that is such an inconsistent way of thinking? Yeah. <laughs> can you see why that's an inconsistent way of thinking? Tell it, tell it, Bob. I, what I don't believe is the is the the historical, m mythological, miracle-making cross. Brother, let go of your okay. pride. I don't yeah. believe that stuff because, as I said, it, there's no contemporaneous evidence that that happened at all. Brother, and let go no of Roman your pride. Well that, that will, that let go of your pride. And yeah, let go, let go. Let go of your pride, bro. Yeah. You have not you discovered know? new knowledge. One when, second, when I'm gonna I, no. If you just, I'm just gonna talk over you if you try to talk over me. I, I haven't so, been able to so, talk as much as you. So, 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 so can you, yeah, you'll be able to see. Yeah, but yeah, that, that's people can make their own decision. You, you have, you, you have just said, you have just said that there's no contemporaneous evidence. Yeah. There is none. You have just said that there is no Roman evidence. Let's apply his criteria to Socrates and Plato. Okay. There is no contemporaneous evidence and there is no there is Roman no evidence. Does Plato <laughs> and Socrates evidence. live? Yeah, answer. Did Plato and Socrates, there you go. So he has one criteria for Plato and Socrates and a different criteria for Jesus. Now, as you can see, guys, I have to speak to the camera because when I try to make a point to him, he just talks over me. There's a big block. Yeah, and that's fine. This is Speaker's Corner. He can do that if he wants to. But it just means that you can't, you can't, if a cup is full, you can't pour anything into it. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, his cup is overflowing, but not in the good way. Like, the, 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 the point that we're making, Notice, he said, he quoted, he quoted the Gospels as proving that Jesus spoke in parables, right? But those same Gospels say that Jesus worked miracles, that he was crucified and that he rose from the dead. So when it says that Jesus spoke in parables, he believes the Gospels. When it says that that same Jesus performed miracles and was crucified and was risen from the dead, he doesn't believe in it. Now he then goes on to say, he then goes on to say in his argument, he then goes on to say in his argument that the real Jesus is the one from 70 AD. But the Gospel of Mark, the Gospel of Luke and the Gospel of Matthew were all written before 70 AD. <laughs> That's the problem that this man has, is he's using as evidence, selectively, very picky way, in a very picky way, evidence to say that this is Jesus, uh, bar, whatever, <laughs> Gallum, Gullum, Gollum, yeah, this, this rebel. And I believe there probably was a Jesus who was leader of a Jewish rebellion. I'm completely fine with that. Je Yeshua was a common name. A e incidentally, not Ise, was Yeshua. But, but, but the fact of the matter is, he has got no evidence that these Gospels were written after 70 AD. After 70 AD. After 70 AD, 
the Jewish temple was destroyed. This was the biggest event in the Jewish world. Do you honestly believe that any Jewish author would not write about the destruction of the temple if it had occurred? And yet Luke doesn't mention it in Acts. He doesn't mention it in his gospel. Neither does Mark, neither does Matthew, neither does John. If the Jewish temple was destroyed and these were written after 70 AD, they would have incorporated it into the story. You can't now, date any my, of the my, gospel my question to you, to Christian. The my, actually, they're all dated to the first century. No, you, you they are all dated to the first century. With, with any kind of uh, scientific rigor, look to. With the, historical rigor, you yeah, can. Yeah. With, you, you, you can with historical rigor. You can rigor. talk about Paul's epistles, and that's fine. Uh, you can't. Were Paul's epistles written before 70 AD? I think it's. They give you a window with with this uh, carbon dating and so on. No, my question is. <laughs> no, no. You know, I'm just going to just going to show Christian right. now. He's just made something up on the spot. Did you hear that? No, no, no. He said no, carbon knew, dating. Yeah, the fact of the matter is, we don't dating. have any of the original autographs to carbon date. So, you so he literally uh, just made something up to try and sustain his worldview. Okay. We have fragments. We don't yeah, have any of the original yes, autographs. No, we don't. Not There's not a single surviving there, there original are, autograph. Are, yes, there are. Within the first century, there are shards of, of Wait a minute. Just from the first, Wait, so hold on. The second ah, century. Oh, the second century. The century. Ah, so, yeah. right. Those are not original. Ones, there right? are not original can autographs. I just, can I just quote Jesus to everyone? So uh, about... about uh, this is Genesis... Uh, 13, when you see, I'm going to go to 13, 10. So you're quoting Genesis Matthew, as a quotation of Jesus? Matthew, Matthew. The disciples came to him and asked, Why what, what do passage? you speak Sorry. to people in parables? Matthew. This is Matthew 13, 10. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to read 10 and 11 to you. Why, dust, uh, why do you speak to the people in parables? I'm going to go to 11. Because the knowledge of the secrets of the kingdom of heaven has been given to you, but not to them. Yep. So, so, you, is, one, is, so you accept the Gospels there as proof that Jesus spoke in parables. Okay. Yeah, well, they are parables. Does Matthew they're, say they're that Christ was crucified? That, the, does does, does in, Matthew say yeah. that Christ was crucified? Yeah. Obviously. So when, when, when you, you quote Matthew to say that Christ spoke in parables and you believe it, right? Um, Christ, but I don't believe that the Christ that this, like, it's possible that the so Christ did this Christ of Matthew speak in parables? This stuff, right? Did the, did there's the Christ? enough of a difference that there are different stories, obviously, when you look at the, the history of the don't, Jesus I'm talking about don't, don't versus the, 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 the mythological Christ, right? Listen to yourself. I don't believe a lot of that stuff the, the, happened. The, it would the, be the wonderful history, if you did. The history of Jesus, <coughs> but you don't know anything about this Jesus. There you go. He's I saying that I read the Bible read the and that's Bible. proof I've, I've of the, the Jesus he believes in. Yeah, he said but that. the Jesus that the Bibles talk about is one that was crucified. Yeah, and yeah. he's denying the crucifixion. I'm denying that the, 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 the three days in the tomb and the resurrection. You can sit next once this you know, guy's done. Because <laughs> the resurrected sun gods are all over of the pagan past. Example. They, 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 yeah. which, 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 I want an example of a sun god that was crucified and rose from uh, the dead. Osiris. Yeah. Osiris didn't cru wasn't, wasn't crucified, crucified and he didn't rise yeah, from the dead. Understanding of crucified. He didn't. He wasn't crucified. From See, what do you mean? No, it isn't. That's a lie. I'm going to stand up because he's standing up. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Oh and the cross here is this astrological. Hold, hold on one second. You've just said that their Africa. understanding of crucifixion was different from our understanding of crucifixion. Yeah, you said that. The, the you have literally yeah. just made the something up. On the spot again. No, 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 no. <laughs> you've just made something up. The Romans were very clear about what crucifixion was. They executed by crucifixion tens of thousands of people. Yeah, sure, sure. Like, the rebellion, like the rebellion, like the rebellion, like the rebellion of Spartacus. Tens yeah, yeah, of thousands yeah. of slaves were crucified. Absolutely. After, I'm waiting for someone to say it. Oh, I'm, I'm miming it over. All right, oh, yeah. like, <laughs> no, like you missed a great opportunity, guys. <laughs> I'm Spartacus. But the point is, the Romans were very clear about what crucifixion was. It was a form of execution for criminals. Yeah. So when it talks about crucifixion they, they, in they, the Gospels, wait, that wait, is what wait, they meant by crucifixion. crucifixion. That's it. That's what they, they meant. crucified that Christ, the Christ I was talking about as well. You know, Josie, Joseph, Joseph of Arimathea, his real name is quite probably in history Joseph Barmatheus. 
you, you when, say that. Why do you say that? Stir, and that's Josephus. Why do you say that? Well, because it's, it, it might well be historical. So you've used but Josephus, me, the same Josephus sheep. that said that Christ was, was crucified, crucified under Pontius Pilate. <laughs> right, which I don't believe, by the There way. you go. Ah. So you're just picking and choosing <laughs> your evidence. Wow. No, 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 I'm not. I believe that Josephus wrote good things and that he wrote utter lies for the Roman says, yeah. for, for Based Titus. Based only on your criteria of what? we have of, to think in yeah. a spiritual, spiritual. archetypal yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. The guy was a turncoat. Historically, it's true. I know that. He became but, a turncoat. But, 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 but and the point what is, I believe is Paul you, is actually basically you, you, Josephus. Do you I think that Paul is person. Josephus? Wow. Whoa! Yeah, oh my God! <laughs> 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 okay. He just said I can Paul was Josephus. Wow! Right now, now I know that I'm dealing with a guy. We'll do a part two next week. Yeah, we'll do a part two next week. Please bring your evidence that Paul is Josephus. If you can, remember if you can, my, please bring your right. That's the that's the, that's the, the debate I next week. Is that this brother, yeah, yeah. this Maybe poor Christian. poor brother, is yeah. going to bring me evidence that Paul yeah. was Josephus? Josephus. Wow. It's a good theory. Okay. It is it's a it's terrible got, theory. It's got some good Christian. To as you go, uh, uh, Christian. Um, uh, well, not yet. I'm done. <laughs> well, we will say goodbye. But I, I, I want to say to some um, Bob, cool. and I want to say it in the nicest possible way. But you have not discovered any secret knowledge. I think I have. You, on the contrary, you have filled your mind with rubbish, literally rubbish. And you are wasting, wasting the opportunity to know the real Jesus because you want to make yourself special because you've discovered some secret knowledge that no one else knows. Uh, not the people that the were writing real, at the, the time. Real Christos, the not, real not, not, Within not, you. not any of the historians <laughs> that have got PhDs in this. <laughs> not Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, or it's Paul, who was Josephus. <laughs> it's just Christian it's here in the, the 21st century. Talking two, nonsense. two. It's worse than Muhammad. <laughs> two thousand oh, one hundred <laughs> years <laughs> later. <laughs> In another country, yeah, yeah. speaking another language, and he knows the real events of history ah. based upon the odd verses that he'll quote and accept from this book <laughs> while ignoring all the other ones. Ah, okay, so he's a Christian, new prophet. Let go of this rubbish, man. We'll get to know the real Jesus. All right, take care. God bless.